Every company has different needs, different workflows, different challenges. There's no one set pattern that you can just apply for a cloud deployment. I think the, the important thing is to understand your workflow and where the bottlenecks are in your application or, or where the, uh, the danger zones are and make sure you're building around that. As an IT professional moving their existing platform to the cloud, you really need to evaluate how you do things and, and how your, your system is architected. Um, the, the cloud requires different thinking and different patterns. You need to ask yourself, how does my development workflow fit with the cloud model? How will I handle security? Does my edge security still apply in the cloud or do I need to move these things to the application layer? How can I take advantage of ephemeral systems and automatic scaling um, on-demand resources? You have an effectively limitless pool of resources now, and you need to ask yourself, how can I apply that to my workflow to make it more efficient, to make it faster? Knowing that you have unlimited resources available that you only need to pay for for an hour or two uh, makes a dramatic difference in your workflows. So you can do things very quickly at scale and then bring them back down. You also need to think about security differently. So traditionally, security is very much a perimeter or edge-based thing. So you place firewalls and intrusion detection systems uh, and different layers of security in the physical infrastructure around your, your systems. But in the cloud, you don't have that physical infrastructure. You're kind of in a pool with a lot of other people. So you need to move a lot of your security to the application layer where your applications are self-defensive and protective even from your own system. So from system to system, you want your equipment and your applications to enforce security at every layer in the software itself. As a technology professional that may have part of their systems in the cloud, you'll need to ask yourself, uh, how much of a particular vendor services do I want to adopt or how many cloud services can I integrate into my company's systems and still keep the flexibility and control that we need long term. There's a lot of different services out there for queuing and caching and storage. Some of them are broad standards in the industry and some of them are proprietary. Some of them are very good, some of them aren't so good. And you need to really balance like the cost effectiveness and the, the effectiveness of speed of development for some of the better and proprietary ones against the cost of being able to move away, you know, being able to get back out of those and make changes as your company changes. The real advantage of the cloud is that your business gets to focus on your product and your customers and not on building out the infrastructure that provides your services.